this is awesome. I love being, like, playing this game and and being nervous about what to do. You know, when you play this game through as many times as I have, you kind of lose that. Although it's still fun, but you lose the nervousness. But playing this mod, wow. For instance, I didn't remember that the fuse is not here. I'm not going to fight that zombie. My resources are already too minimal for me to do that. Okay. Oh, I'm in for it. How many are inside of there? One other one. Oh, no. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to shoot him in the head and hopefully stun him. Good. Another one. Shit. Yep. Okay. We're good. We're okay. Don't punch me in the back, X. Oh, okay, that was awesome. Game Sharks, welcome to Tyrock 2000's Let's Cheat. In this episode, I'm cheating Capcom by using a brilliant mod to give myself a true B scenario for Resident Evil 2 Remake. Limited resources, completely different key item locations that force me to think on my feet, and extreme difficulty. It's a blast playing this game and feeling the pressure again, and you're going to love it. As always, links in the description so you too can access this mod and have fun playing along. Let's cheat. Blair, I hope you made it here. Good thing we have flashbangs, set of herbs. When you pick up two flashbangs instead of a couple herbs at the beginning of B scenario, you know. And no frag grenade in here. You know it's going to be a wild ride. Not exactly how I pictured breaking this in. No kidding, Leon. No kidding. Okay, we don't have any spare rounds. So. Hopefully. I can get past the zombies relatively smooth. If I have to use both of these flashbangs, I will. I'd rather use one or zero. Oh, they're way too bunched up. Let's just use one. Should be good. Oh, yeah. All lined up. Bye bye. No boards not how I imagined my first day. for the window. This is going to be brutal. Okay, first destination in our true B scenario run. It's going to be the safe room. This is going to be as close to a blind playthrough of this mod that I can do. I played it one time, oh heck, two years ago, and was very impressed. But having came back to it since, I wasn't even doing real YouTube videos then. So, for all intents and purposes, this is a first time run of this mod. It's been so long I don't remember it. For instance, I didn't remember that the fuse is not here. Um... So yeah, we'll figure it out. And in first person, oh, feels so good. Mm -hmm. 
Let's keep the um, mm, spaces at a premium. Um, I'm actually going to drop the VP70 for space concerns, and I'll keep the flashbang and the knife. Haven't even given us an ink ribbon yet. Oop. Let's try to get past this guy. Oof, good. Is the fuse gonna be in here? I don't know, let's find out. I'm not gonna fight that zombie. My resources are already too minimal for me to do that. Another bang. That wouldn't hurt to pick up. Because they just stack anyway. Oop, no ammo on our buddy there. On the sleepy cop in the corner. That ain't good. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh, I'm in for it. Okay, let's draw him towards the corner and then juke them. Okay. Where's the fuse, though? This isn't going to do me much good because they're going to be hot on my heels. And I need to get through that main door. Okay, maybe it's in the press room. Oh! Okay. Wow. So, we're not going to go through the fuse door. We have to use the spade key upstairs near the crashed helicopter. That's cool. How many are inside of there? One other one. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna shoot him in the head and hopefully stun him. Good. Another one. Oh, yep. Okay, we're good. We're okay. Let's just go. I was thinking about going back to the, um... safe room with the item box, but... I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna move. Oh, no! Good thing we had the knife. Oh, man! <sighs> any healing, any healing, any healing. No. No. Not even the key card to get the shoddy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, indeed. Ten rounds. Ten rounds and two flashbangs. Is that the one with the knife? It was. Can I get it? I'd like to get a stun if I could. Good thing I grabbed that knife back. Now let's go. Tell you what, it, what I will take. You don't hit X every time, you just go to the numbers. Can you tell it's been a little bit since I played this? Oh, and it wasn't even the magazine, it was the compensator. Whoops, the magazine is downstairs at the desk. Rookie 
Mistake. You know what, I'm just gonna take this. Here's my plan. I'd rather wait to get a red herb if I could to make the most of this greeny, but I'll keep it on me just in case I'm about to get struck because it's better to not die. Three rounds. Can I stun her? Yes. I want to get this key out of my inventory, so let's... Use it on this door real quick. And then use it on the one downstairs after I check for ammunition. No dice. Mm. Oh! That was bright. Sorry. What, Leon and the police training, they didn't teach you to look away from the flashbang? Maybe they taught Leon, they didn't teach me that. Alright, while we have a little bit of breathing room, let's see if there's any red. Another dang flashbang. I want a red herb. I don't want a flashbang, I want a red herb. Okay. Let's go through here. Oh, did our buddy get up? And here, Mr. Jumpsuit Man. Oh! Film roll. Great. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, let's go. Um. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's just get to the safe room, I guess. First aid spray, all right. Glad I held out. Any ink ribbons? No, of course not. Gunpowder, though. Oh, there's an ink ribbon. Yay, my prayers are answered. <laughs> all right, let's um upgrade the VP70. I wonder if I'll be getting the key card, get the shotgun soon. If that is the case, I'd like to save these gunpowders to make shotgun shells. Put the bolt cutters back for now, because I need to go through the liquor hallway to use them, and I'm not going to do that quite yet. Let's at least use the valve handle. Uh, I wish I wouldn't have had to defend myself with the knife against those zombies. If I somehow would have been able to avoid them, I would still have that knife on me and be able to do a lot of damage. That that hurts, not being able to use that knife. Oh! We had a stealth soldier behind the door! Come on! Really? Uh, it's okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know, I heard him, too. And I, and I thought to myself, there's no way he's behind the door. Lesson learned. Shells? How about the key card so I can start using them? Six shells. I got six shells and no shotgun. 
Tell you what, I don't want to go out there quite yet with all the zombies, and I only have three, three cartridges in my 1911. So let's just move our way. Oh, no. Okay. I was about to say, let's just move our way to the stars room. We are not doing that yet because that is going to activate Mr. X. And I already have enough to deal with. So I don't want to do that quite yet. Do I take this while I'm here or do I not? You know, I can't do anything with it at the moment anyway. It's going to stay there. Oh, I hear her. Where are you at? Got my flashbang ready. Oh, she's just crawling. Okay. I am going to kick myself if the key card for the shotgun was in the bathroom near the um near the desks for the police officers. I hope that I didn't miss it. Magnum rounds. All right, I'll ping that. I don't even have the Desert Eagle yet. Anything. Just a regular note. I'm starting to hallucinate. I thought there was a grenade there. I so desperately want some more weaponry. <laughs> well, at least I've got enough gunpowder jugs to make some handgun rounds. And still have one left over for when I eventually get the shotgun. Nothing here. Wish I had a knife, I'd cut him down. Maybe there will be a knife in the library. Let's... Let's scope it out. Yes! It looks like it is down there in its usual spot. The book for the statue. But his arm wasn't in the room, so I don't know where the statue's arm is. Oh. This is awesome. I love being, like, playing this game and, and being nervous about what to do. You know, when you play this game through as many times as I have, you kind of lose that. Although it's still fun, but you lose the nervousness. But playing this mod, wow, this is fun. I mean, heck, M maybe the shotgun key card's in here. I'm, I'm desperate. Darn it. Oh, and I can't... I can't discard it. I don't even want to get this yet. I'm afraid of my inventory limit at the moment. Or cautious of my inventory limit. Okay. I'm going to avoid the door for the moment, because big guy will get up. Oh, she's very mobile. Want to draw her over here if I can. Or she just kind of, kind of chill over there. I mean, she is a zombie. They don't, they don't have the same. Oh, intellectual capacity as a alive individual. Is the ammo back there? I can't tell. Three shots. I'd rather not use them. Tell you what, I'm gonna run past her. Check the bookcase area if there's any ammunition, and then escape up the ladder. Nothing! Ouch! Wait a second. Does escaping up the ladder aggro the zombie to the left of me that's eating that body? 
I'd, I'd rather keep him munching. Oh, the cop got up. Okay, abort. We're going back through the um, attic. Oh, what a disaster. Well, while I'm here, slash this guy until he falls. Come on. Good. He's all good. He's neutralized. We still have a quarter of our knife left. Oh, man. This is awesome. So I get the magnum ammo, I mean the safe room is right below me, I might as well stash it. What the heck? We got her there. We got him down there. I've got two flashbangs, an almost broken knife, and a 1911 with three rounds. Uh, I I wish she'd fall over the banister. You can get them to do that, like what I did earlier with the guy up here, how I kited him and got him to fall over the banister. Look, uh, honey, I, I didn't mean it, please. Just just let me through, please. Okay, let's give her a headshot and try to get past. Oh, too far away. Oh, I choked. don't want to use my knife to defend myself, but... If I try to run past him, and he goes to grab me, and if he grabs my back, it is donezo. You can't defend yourself from a rear grab attack. I will die. So I kind of... have to... Yes! <laughs> Frankly, I'd rather use the flashbang than the knife. The knife is way more valuable to me. Okay, we got both of them banged. Do I take advantage and just... run for it? No, I can't, because I don't even have any ammunition. I have to go to the safe room. Make some ammo. Wow. Wow, this is intense. Okay, I'm gonna be able to get the extended magazine for the VP-70 shortly, so that'll give me some cartridges also. Oh my gosh. I love this. The real B scenario that we did not get in the vanilla remake. You know, I just have a hunch that with this devious mod that weapons locker keycard it has got to be upstairs in the stars room it makes sense thematically that it would be there you know the weapons locker keycard 
probably would be with the stars. And it also makes sense for difficulty wise in this mod, you know, in order to get the key card to finally get the shot, kind of start turning the turning the tide over here, that you would need to spawn X. So whoop, let's try. It. Oh, I'm gonna get grabbed. Oh! Oh my gosh. That was scary. Please, please, please be in here. Hopefully there's still the first day it's buried here too. Oh. Whew. Awesome. More shells, yes. Another bang, don't mind if I do. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, my hunch was correct. I have never been happier to see this. Oh, I could cry. But that's just step number one. Step number two is actually getting to the shotgun weapons locker. There are a lot of zombies in that hallway. I don't think I've killed any of them. And I only have seven rounds in my handgun. An almost broken knife and two flashbangs. What am I going to do? Okay, so X is going to spawn in the hallway, but I have multiple flashbangs. I could throw a flashbang to distract him, get past him, go out into the main area, and then cut into the weapons locker room, coming from the opposite direction to the locker room, the opposite direction from the save room on that floor. Okay, th that was a really weird way of saying it. Okay, in my head, I can either retrace my current steps back past the steam fight three or four zombies in the dang hallway and get to the locker room or flashbang X main area through the door with the welcome Leon sign and then slink my way in the back and get the shotgun that's 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 got to be the right way to do it or that way makes more sense that's what I'm going to do and you know what if I really would have planned this out well I would have grabbed the bolt cutters also but I did not do that darn it that's okay. That's alright. I'll just make a mental note of that for the next time I play this mod. Alright, X, I'm ready for you. Jesus Christ. You gonna swing? Nope. You know, I'm gonna get this also while I'm here. Because I'm going to pass the statue where you place these in, so it's not even going to be in my inventory for a long time. That's going to be very efficient, if I do say so myself. Oh, okay, let's just use the knife. Wait, I thought I had the knife equipped. Oh, can you, you can't defend yourself on the steps? Oh my gosh. From fine to caution again, it's, it's, <laughs> I'm starting to get annoyed with, with these mistakes that I'm making. Oh my gosh. You can't defend yourself, yourself on the steps, really. Oh lord. You stay there. Oh. You stay there while I get this extendo. Whoops. And then kite you in this direction. Yes, please. Oh, here comes Axe. 
Oh, we're in for it. Come on. Alright. Oh, might as well do this one too. Nine... Fifteen... Seven? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes. And some gunpowder. Oh, give me that shotgun. That I modded to be a Benelli M4 Super 90. And it's even starting off as pump action, just like it was in Resident Evil Remake, the odd fictional pump action version. <laughs> Go back and play that game. It's not a Benelli M3. Like, you know, it looks like an M4, so you're like, but it's pump. So, oh yeah, it's a Benelli M3. It's not. It is a fictional mashup of the M3 and the M4 because it's pump like the M3, but it has a stock like the M4. My head cannon is the stars requested Kendo to fit the M4 stock to the M3 because that's their preference. Oh yeah. That feels good after getting bullied by these guys for so long. I want to do the bullying, not them. Now it's my turn. Oh! Speaking of bullies! Mm, I haven't got my bolt cutters yet either. Is he not going to come in here? Oh, there he is. Man, all they want are my bolt cutters. That's all I want. While we're here, might as well. Okay, I guess we're gonna take the long way around, try to shake X off our tail. That scared me. I doubt my knife survived that stab, but her body will be here on the way back, and we'll check. The limping looks really cool in first person. Oh! <laughs> There's the fuse! Wow! I'm glad I checked. I was hoping there would be... A health item? I was not expecting that to be there. I might not have ever found that if I wouldn't have just looked right now, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Alright. <sighs> Don't punch me in the back, X. Don't punch me in the back, X. Oh, okay, that was awesome. And then safety. Oh. <sighs> wow. I think I have some herbs. <clears throat> I think I have some herbs in the item box. But now we can get our bolt cutters. We can do the plastic explosive. Oh yeah, we're starting to gain some momentum. Game sharks. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Cheat episode of Tyrock 2000. Call me the Codebreaker because I put immense effort into coming up with the absolute most creative cheat code combinations possible for my favorite games. I want to hear from you about your favorite games and cheats, so give me a comment. And if you love this episode, give me a like and a subscribe because there is much more where that came from. Thanks, Game Sharks. See you soon.